Hey y'all, Southern Gaming Dude back here once again with some more of that Darkest Dungeon. So today, we're going to figure out who we want to take care of. I think it's going to be the Bounty Hunter. We're going to throw him in here real quick. Fix that minus 10 maximum, or minus 10% maximum HP bullshit. Let's see here. This guy has some shit on him. Scary, blah, 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 blah. Um, I might use him for a while. I don't think this is too expensive. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that. And let's see what else we have. Ugh. A lot of shit on her. Okay. And look at what we have here. We have an antiquarian. Bad gambling. Five percent minus melee. Yeah, who gives a shit? Yeah, we'll take you. We'll take you. Sure. He searches where others will not go. Mm -hmm. And sees what others will not take. See. Just taking a quick look here. Hmm. Ooh, it's got some pretty good shit. Okay. Now, who can we get rid of? Who is... Alright, you are super kind of fucked right now, so we're going to get rid of her. This one has become vestigial. Useless. Hmm. Thinking, thinking, okay. What's this guy got? He's clean. Okay, good. Upgrade him. Okay, I'm going to show you guys a little trick I like to do. I'd say most of you guys do this too. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our party together first. Um, no, we're not going to the Darkest Dungeon. We're going to go to the Cove. We're going to use that guy. And who else should I use? Oh, we have two of these guys. Mm. Mm, do I want to use them right now though? That's the question. I'll use her. Um, hmm. She, the Yumania. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, eh, what the hell? We'll take this guy. We'll take this guy. He can just shoot people or something. Arbalist probably would be better, but fuck it. I feel like taking that dude. So now we have our party set up there. We're going to go back here momentarily. And as you can see, you know, whoever we have selected has these little symbols. So now we're going to take a look at them real quick. I don't think we can really upgrade too many of them here. I guess we can upgrade his stuff. And take a look at the skills here. And we'll upgrade the gun stuff. I'm not too big a fan of pistol shot and grape shot blast, but fuck it. I'm having fun today. And what skills do you have? We'll do that. We'll take that just in case we need the heals. And let's see what else can we do. We'll just do that, I guess. Make sure he has the right skills equipped. Ah, uh, looks pretty good. Put that like that. All right. So we'll be set up here momentarily. Make sure we have that and that. That can these two can be important. Probably won't be using this too much since I'll have her in the front row. But if we get surprised, she'll have something she can spam. And we're gonna take that. I'm going to reorder these like this. Just how I prefer them. Put them skills in any order that you prefer. What does this guy have? Yeah, you need Abyssal Artillery. Why don't you have Abyssal Artillery? Why would you not learn that? Oh my god. Incompetence. Okay, so... Let me recheck everything. I think we're good. Can you use that in the back? Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Okay, okay. We got any cool trinkets here? Uh, bleed resist. Um, I don't think we really need that on him. Yeah, we'll put it on him though. Why not? Hmm. All right, let's finally get started here. Let's have ourselves a good run. So we're gonna take twelve food. Once again, it's the cove. So we take four shovels, to open the chests. We're gonna take, uh, we're gonna take three of these um, for uh, looting some curios and you know stuff like that. We're only gonna take six torches because I'm feeling like a, you know what? We're only gonna take four torches because I feel like a badass today. We're gonna take one of those for a curio, and we're also gonna take one of those for a possible curio. Probably won't find that one though. Yeah, if I do, I'll explain myself. 
And now we get to wait for the loading. Hopefully it doesn't take too long today. Because, I don't know, I'm not too good at talking about random shit while the load screen loads, you know? I mean, that's a pretty cool background there, you know? Looks pretty cool, oh, thank God. Okay. Woo! Oh, always loot with the antiquarian. Or you don't get these doohickeys right here. That's the whole reason you take the antiquarian. And if there's another reason you take the antiquarian, good for you, I guess. But anyways, reason I take the antiquarian, make money. She looks pretty cool too, though, I gotta admit. So it wasn't a room battle here. I always check these off the path rooms right from the get-go because, you know, I have to 100% room battles. That's a room. Let's say I explore there. Then I come all the way down there, explore, and then it ends up being there. Then I have to come all the way back up here. So that's why I went over there first, if anybody was wondering. So I guess we'll go down here first. And she's just dodging every tentacle trap ever. I'll be honest with you, I'm not paying that much attention. Like, I don't know if those traps were invisible, or if I, you know, they were right in front of me, and, you know, I just didn't notice. So, I'm just taking a look at some of these things here. So, I want to make this guy clean. So, he had negative cork, right? So, can't remember if I showed this off, but if you use medicinal herbs on the coral here, lo and behold, it is gone. It's random which ones are removed, and if there is a negative cork locked in, it removes that as well. So, that's, you know, really good times. All right, so we got the surprise. That's pretty nice. Uh, where does she take down the face? And he's fucking dead. Yeah, it was right where it hurt. He he died instantly, son. So can I get a lucky bleed? Flagellant's not the best here, but you still can make these guys bleed, which is nice. So I'm just gonna pull this guy for damage. Wait. Oh, I didn't equip the tentacle ability. That's why it wasn't lit up. Whoops. Okay, whatever. So here's what you do with the Antiquarian Flagell, and I have a video on this. But um, these two guys are pretty much going to be, well, there was a guy that's going to attack the front row. Now he has to hit the Flagell, and, and guess what? Flagell don't give a shit, especially with the buffs. Like, holy crap. So the next thing we're going to do is try to kill this guy before he guards him and increases his protection by shitload. Yeah, keep hitting that guy. He loves it. Look at that face. Like He loves that shit. I guess I'm forced to heal. I can't attack back here with these skills because I fucked up, but whatever. Okay, now I really need to kill this guy so he doesn't guard him. I don't want to try to kill something with like, what is it, like 70% prot when he guards, I think. Something like that. Might be more, maybe a little less, I don't remember. Anyways, killing this guy because he's a dick and we're forced to heal again, which... Eh, whatever. I'm okay at that. Doesn't really matter to me. I do need to remember to put Abyssal Artillery on the bar. We're gonna hit this guy with Blight, because these guys are really weak to Blight. Octocestus. Five damage. Oh no, not the bleeds. Not the bleeds. And healed. Look at that. Oh, more bleeds. Nice. So, yeah, we don't have any bandages. Ah, whatever, fuck it. Doesn't matter. We're just gonna finish this guy off here. These guys die so slow. He should be dead to dots. He's definitely dead to dots now. Oh, yeah. Dead. Dead, dead. Okay, so I guess we'll use this on him. This is stress heal, I think. Yep. And I'm clicking on okay. We're gonna we're gonna do it in this order here. There we go. It's pretty good. Alright. Let's check it out over here. And we're just getting fucked by traps today, guys. Well, not too bad actually, but um yeah, antiquarian and dodge the first two, but yeah. Anyways. Reloot. Very nice. I'm hoping pretty soon I'll be able to get like a medium length dungeon. I'll be able to run these guys. Well, not this particular party, but these two together through that dungeon will make a ton of money. 
kind of want to heal the Antiquarian. Mm, but I kind of want to kill these guys, so we're just going to take the risk here. I don't think they can kill her. They'd have to crit her, I think. I don't care about your stupid stress attacks. Nobody cares. We're going to do that, I guess. Oh. Oh, well, would you look at that? They crit her. Now we get to see if the snail's the giant dickhead. Okay, never mind. Doesn't matter. She's invulnerable now. Get fucked. Get fucked. Also, we're going to take out that guy because I don't want him healing people. Nope, can't do that. Got to hit the flagellant. Get fucked. Fucking dipshits. Crit my antiquarian. Fucking assholes. Don't you crit him. Okay, that would piss me off. I'm not going to lie. So, we're going to heal her first, then we're going to start healing him. Wow, you just bleed from everything, don't you? Oh my goodness. Uh, we're just going to AoE that guy. I, I think he had one more... I think he had enough HP to survive the bleed. I should check, but I just kind of went for it. Whatever. It's fine. We're fine. We're totally fine right now. So, we're just going to spam that some more. And he is pretty much unkillable. She can't be hit. It's great. It's the greatest thing ever. We just got really unlucky there. Yeah, keep hitting him. Do it. He actually has no choice. He can only hit the front two rows when he's in the front two rows. And if these guys are in the back, they can only hit the back two rows. So keep that in mind when you uh, come here. So we're not going to guard again. We're going to blight that snail over there. And we're going to kill this guy. And he's going to bleed to death. Very nice. Um, guess we'll heal her again. Can you not bleed? Thank you. Excellent. Now, could you bleed? Damn. Well, this guy's going to survive the round, unfortunately. But it's not really a big deal. Hmm. Guess we'll heal this dude up here. Yeah, you're bleeding, we know. We know. Trust me. We freaking know. Okay, so this guy's dead. Alright. Oh, nice. Yeah, you have a chance to find those when you have an antiquary in your party too, which is really nice. So we're going to pop some torches. Keep this safe. And by keep it safe, I mean we're going to get a surprise attack and probably get fucked in the ass, unfortunately. So, yeah, that's a thing that can happen. I was really unlucky. Uh, we're going to knock them to the front. Oh, boy. Alright, Mr. Cultist Brawler is buffed up, and it's going to go for my squishy guy, Anga Crit. So, we're getting some pretty shit RNG here, guys. But, you know, that's just what happens sometimes. Hmm. We're going to guard... We're going to... Yeah, we're going to buff his defenses up because I have a feeling I thought for sure they would keep going on him, but that's not what happened. That's okay. We're just adapting to the situation. It's all we're doing right now. Like, I don't feel like moving all these guys around. Like, I really need to start killing these idiots or we're going to have problems. Now. I have a good chance of him healing this guy. Yep, I kind of figured that happened. Oh boy, it's going to be a painful one. I'm pretty sure we can handle it, though. Hmm. Yep, we're just going to keep guarding this dude, because he is pretty squishy and vulnerable right now. And we're going to start nuking the back line. That was pathetic numbers. Hmm. He is a uh, really low level, though, so it's to be expected. Alright. So we're going to heal these two up. That's why the flagellant and Topi is shit. Well, one of the main reasons. Yeah, yeah, you're bleeding. We know. We know. Kill that guy. Thank you. Thank you. Now, the tables have turned. Don't you pull my cultist. You fucking piece of shit. And he can't attack from back there. That is rather unfortunate. This RNG... Holy shit. Now don't you guard her before I kill her. Don't you do it. Don't you dare fucking guard her. 
Okay, thank you. Thank you for being a slow piece of shit with zero speed. I appreciate it. Okay, we're about back in order now. And he chose to hit the uh, flagellant. That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Alright, so we are going to... I guess we'll do that. There we go. Start picking this guy apart. Hopefully we can get some bleeds and some blight on this guy. Damn, it skills so weak at rank 1. Ugh. At least it does 2 damage the next rank. But, yeah. Her blight's super weak. I mean, all her skills are super weak. Damage-wise, I mean, she's not supposed to be super strong. So, yeah, this guy's dead. So, we're going to heal up. Are more vulnerable targets here or heroes whatever you want to call them and we're just going to hit this guy I hope for crit which we didn't get for stress seal that's the only reason I'm attacking him I know he's dead when it's his turn we got some shit I'm not I'm not done game I need to need to get my free uh, ooh nice yeah that thing and this is worth a few hundred gold so we're going to get rid of these torches for that and we're gonna use torches for the hell up. Boom, boom. Okay, nice. And that's done. That was kind of painful. But you know, I've dealt with much worse. You know, when you play this game for over two hundred some hours, you will see some shit, and you will rage at some point or another. Like you'll be having a great day, all of a sudden you'll just lose two people on round one or round two or some shit. Oh look, we got a blueprint. Nice. Like me, you are a part of this place. Yes, we are a part of this place. I know. I know, Mr. Narrow guy. So anyways, I'm gonna get a blueprint for any of you guys that haven't um, played the um, Crimson Court expansion pack or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, yeah, so you need a blueprint to build these buildings and I'll scroll through it kind of slower this time. If you want to see what these do, just pause. You can take a look at it real quick, but yeah, they do different things. Some buff characters, some give you things, etc. But yeah, you need a blueprint and other materials, and boom, you have it instantly when you click on it. But we don't have enough for any of that stuff yet. So now we have the Nomad Wagon unlocked. Charms, gathered from all the forgotten corners of the earth. Yeah, so yeah, he explained that. You buy trinkets here, pretty much. Okay. But we're not going to be doing that for a while. He is a stalwart survivor and a strict instructor. So yeah, this is a survivalist. So we get camping skills here. That just reduces the cost. But if you want camping skills, throw a guy in there. Boom. You got his camping skills. He's going to equip so many. I think it's, what is it, like four or something? Maybe three or four. I forget. <laughs> I, don't, I can't believe I can't remember that. I think it's four, but I'm not like 100%. It's been a while since I've played and used the campfire. I, I kind of took a long break from this game. But anyways, um, next time we'll uh, prepare some... Uh, I'll have a party prepared again. and uh, Well, I'll get prepared before the next video if I remember it. Wait, you guys don't have to sit there and watch me do that stuff. But right now I'm trying to... Yeah, I'm going to clean this guy up. I don't like these things stacking up. They're annoying. And I know some people let some of the less annoying quirks, like, lock in. I'm not one of those people. I'm kind of OCD. I have to get rid of them. I have to get rid of them all or it drives me fucking crazy. But uh, that's just how I play. You don't have to play that way. I guess we'll take a look at the stagecoach real quick. See if there's anything good in here before we leave. Or by, before we leave, before I end the video. That's what I mean by that. And <laughs> flagellant. That's funny. I mean, we got yeah, yeah. Anyways, I don't know. I may take her next time, but we are full right now, unfortunately. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Help my channel grow. I would greatly appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time.